Her day. I'm so thirsty right now. Jada's vomiting. <laughs> vomiting as we speak. And all of a sudden, search and rescue come. And I was like, what's going on? Who's stuck? I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just like the sand, but worse. <laughs> <laughs> like, welcome to the Sisters That Slay podcast featuring Mim, Fez, and Beef, also known as Miriam, Talitha, and Ferial. We are three sisters building our mini sister empire and bringing you on the journey. We're passionate about learning and growing from those that have been there, done that, ticked the box, won the prize and have the scar. Real people, real stories. We uncover their secrets to how they are living their best lives and push through their lows. Dream the impossible and make it your reality. One life the critics you've got a sisterhood that want to see you slay welcome to the sisters that slay podcast talitha just nailed it yeah with a, a pre-recorded podcast just then well uh-huh. done talitha Thank sharing you. all of her expert finance tips and feathers in the house hey it's your girl ferial we are just back from the snow yeah. five kids two mums and the snow, what fun times. What could go wrong? Oh, everything and anything. Everything went right, though, <laughs> luckily. <laughs> everything went wrong and right. Well, yeah. Miriam, what do okay, you have so there? first of all, though, we have a little reveal and review. Ooh, yeah, oh, that's girl. better. I can hear myself now. Mm. Okay. And this Wait, is... Wait, who's it from? So Nicole Osborne has organised this. Thank you, Nicole. And it is from TPP Never Ordinary, Terry's... Personalized product, and we have to Ooh. we have to try everything, guys. So you're okay. gonna guess what it is. Oh, a lucky dip. Wait, right is it heavy? Are they personalized products or oh personal my God. products? <gasps> this is oh, oh my wow. goodness, guys! Oh. What? 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 Oh my yes. goodness! No! Yes! No! Yes! No. She loves it. No way! Hang on, can we just serious, talk about Anna? how? Ferial drinks her. Let's just Why talk about how you drink. Ferial, let's just talk about how you drink. How do you drink your coffee, Ferial? If you wouldn't just, be like that with coffee, it's so weird. This just made her day. Wait, oh Miriam, stop, stop what you're doing. Let's talk about yeah. how Ferial drinks her coffee because it's, it's a public I don't announcement. Know. I don't yeah, know how. have a listen, right? Okay. Kettle's on. Why did you bring this up? No, no, it's funny. So you got your cup of coffee. You Kettle's on. Put in my, put, yeah. Get near a microphone no, or something first. I need to drink this, guys. Oh, my goodness. So yes. kettle's on. Anyway, I'll Get tell you. No one has done anything as nice as this to me. Oh, my goodness. Thank so you. So Ferry would put, let's say, instant coffee in yeah. and then the tiniest little nice. bit of hot water and then she fills it up with cold water and yeah. shot it. sit down first. You no, shot it like I'm an alcohol sitting down. shot. Like a, a, I like can't a get you in at the shot. Jager bomb or something. <laughs> <laughs> so my shot of coffee will do it's well. Disgusting. A she shot her shot coffee. Of coffee. It's disgusting. Cold yeah, yeah. shot of coffee. It's like oh. a cold shower, right? It's like cold shower. Boom! Hit it. I Let wonder who's next. <gasps> oh is it my goodness! Have I got it on the camera there, Rory? Is it going anywhere? Who is it? Yes. Okay. Wait. It's B. Oh, oh my goodness! You always wanted a mug with me on it. Emma. I love it. Thank you. And I drink my coffee ninety-five percent. Hot, five percent cold. She's crazy, nice. guys. Sick crazy. It. Enjoy it. I crazy, wonder crazy. what this last one's gonna be. Oh, as say Mim Dog. Mim Dog. Mim. Mim. In oh, the house. This is sick ever. <laughs> this is pretty cool, actually. Oh, my I might just like, strategically drink so all cool. the time, like. I'm so thirsty right now. I'm going to put my water in there right now. I'm ruining your camera angle there, Talitha. Oh, is that my camera angle? Yeah, that's your camera angle. Oh, I've been working on this one. (laughs) Know your angles, girl. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. I am so thrilled with this. This is so cool. Probably should have washed these. It's just been the best day of my life. I've got drinking on it already. It's mine. No one's going to drink out this one. Okay, Mim. Oh, my goodness. Love this. Okay, and one more thing. One more thing. What? What? More, yeah, girl, Where is it? amazing. Oh, it's so. Anyone li- guess? Want to guess what oh, this is? Oh, I'm blown Christoph. away. I have no clue. No clue. Wait. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hurry up. Yeah, come on, Miriam. Oh, uh, we got custom. Oh, or a mini no. mouse pad. Mini mouse pad. Or a 
a coaster. Yeah. Coaster and mouse pad. Really mouse same, pad. same, really. Oh, Beautiful. look here at my wow. little. There go. You can put it on here. What? That. Sarah won't have time to Luckily, drink her cold guys, coffee in a shot. Can we also just talk about the three photos there? Because I totally have the best picture. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Very yeah. does. Very does. Look at her Very <laughs> Like Girls. twins or not sisters or co- they're cousins. Those eyebrows are cousins. <laughs> yeah. And Miriam Talitha. Mum like said that you had really nice eyebrows beforehand, like a yeah. really nice colour. And then mum was like, no, it has to be the same colour as your hair. As my regrowth. Yeah. yeah. So I had to get the eyebrows changed. So Miriam really did me a solid and made me yeah. like the, the prettiest picture. Thanks, guys. There you go. Who's the prettiest in this picture? Um, who has the best know. personality, though? Who has the best hair? That's the, that's the I do. Today, my today Talitha has the best hair. Yeah. Guys. Because I got my hair done. I got my hair done by James. We've been, we've been oh, back. Tuesday. So we've been just back from the snow. No, no. What's that? What's that, guys? Oh okay, so we're going to just quickly give our and rundown, our, hot chocolate. our tips of the snow, basically everything I and anything. I love the snow. Do you guys still love the snow? Yeah, love sure. it. I'm a, I'm a bit. <laughs> my next for my honeymoon, drive back like every year. Yeah, now, for my honeymoon, I want to go snow. to the snow. Yeah. Sam has said no. I'm saying like, yes. Cliffa, you dream. We you had that. Go to the snow. I, I love the snow. So we had beach, the. I'll babe, be riding beach, shotgun underneath the hot oh, sun. So we had two a, in the front, uh, no, two in the, the back, oh, yeah. three in the middle. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Seven seaters, all of us in there. And we um, just had the time of our life, yeah. um, 11 hours. We had to work out what kids could sit next to each other. Yeah. And then I had to bribe the two youngest yeah. six-year-olds. I said, listen, if you stay in the back, because they didn't want to be in the back anymore. No. Yeah, so I had to bribe them with a toy. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to get you a toy. I was like, I'll the get bribes. you something special. Tick, done. Yeah. And then um, we were driving down the mountain on the way back. We had no mm. issues getting there driving. Yeah, they were distracted by the snow. On the way back. <laughs> yeah. We were like, <laughs> they were like, snow. Yeah. On the way there, when they could see the tiny snow on the way back though it was foggy it was windy and my sister feral kept asking them like are you guys all right in the back yeah there? And, I'm like, okay. and i'm like don't ask them like, like don't, stop asking don't them. put thoughts in their head mm. yeah next and then <laughs> next minute william is saying oh jonah, jonah has vomited <laughs> jonah's vomiting <laughs> vomiting as we speak and yeah. we're like we didn't have any plastic like, bags ooh, around like miriam oh. snapped into action. So I like found Ferrell's <laughs> laptop bag. Yeah. <laughs> and I said like I was like give so it, you mean give it these down cups there. were in the car. We were like <laughs> basically we were looking for anything. I was yeah. like my hat. Do you want my yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> so we had to pass down. You know what? The, you know what's worse than actually like. No, you need to hear this. It's, no, it's listening to someone vomit. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, what happens is that, Jonah, that, Jonah, I vomit Jonah by listening to someone vomit. To vomit. And then and we were thinking about And then I was like, okay, we'll give like the so woman's she, weekly bag down yeah. to William. So the then William bag, yeah. then starts vomiting. No, yeah, I, that's I said to me William, I said, Are you right, William? He said, I'm gonna vomit. And I'm like, grab the bag. <laughs> Runs the bag, vomits into the bag, sharing. Guys, I'm feeling so So, sick right now. And then, so then we (laughs) didn't stop there. So this is the far back area, and then it then. We're all then still Ugh. laughing in the middle area. We're like, I can't believe this. This is so funny. This, ha, 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 ha. this just makes our trip. And then poor Chelsea. She's That's in the middle. Darling. She then starts to and <laughs> she then starts to say, I'm gonna vomit. Ugh. So I'm no, trying to vomit. I'm trying to hold out. Guys, could you just <laughs> we, found, we found another bag. <laughs> Another so Miriam catches bag. the vomit. So and then... I had more vomit on my hands. Oh. <laughs> this, is vomit. Making, this is making me going gonna... to get jealousy. To yeah. And then, and then, the lucky last. Who? The Benny? Lacey. Lacey. Our youngest is sitting next to Chelsea. She's, she's so, uh, so she had, like, one okay. hand on Chelsea's. <laughs> Oh, catching her on it. She's like, vomiting at the same time. So I've got one bag. <laughs> None of them are vomiting in it. So are they, is it just the chain reaction, do you think? Yeah, no, the chain, it was the nah, it was Because honestly, if I was in the car, I would have vomited too. No, so I didn't think to pull over Benny and get the kids had, out. Benny no. had 
No, we couldn't. We were on it. We like, it was so the, windy. The, it was foggy. Was there was nowhere to park. No. And we were just like, let's just get out of here. We so like, Benny, to his credit, had <laughs> steel, had stomach of steel. Yeah. And we made it down to the bottom of the mountain. And then we like, we had to yeah. drop our chains off somewhere. And I'm like, do you have like anything? Yeah, we just had like exited. four kids like, vomit. So we had to like, luckily we were really good mums and we made sure they had a full breakfast yeah. before leaving so for the trip. So all up. So yeah. yep. And <laughs> We had, to, we had to like change everyone's clothes yeah. and yeah, my car still uh, smells a yeah. little bit like vomit. Um, right. I'll give you guys so my, that was a highlight. That was a highlight. I'll give you guys my hot tip when it comes to kids in the snow, guys, for a first time snower, um, skier. skier, everything, Whatever. snow. Guys, I have a four-year-old girl and we first thing, so we first night we got there, we started making snowballs Snowballs. and literally the kids next minute start screaming because their hands were burning so i was like From let's cold. go get them gloves great idea right great kids idea and gloves do, do not, not mix. go so lacy's like trying to get her hand into these gloves i like bought them and we like spent an hour picking out the colored gloves and then she's like Ugh. she's like my feet and then she's like my little finger and we're like this so she couldn't understand no, uh, they just could no. And, and even like so- my son took an hour to try and find gloves. We couldn't find gloves for him. So I asked the guy, I said, listen, do they need gloves or can they use mittens? Yeah. The guy, Farrell did not hear this, but the no. guy was like, you can have mittens. Mittens are actually no, well, better. No, I specifically did not want <laughs> mittens because of all the skiing they would be doing. She didn't do any. <laughs> I was like, they have to have the finger gloves. It's important. So, no. So the last and night, Farrell went back and bought No, the guy, mittens, the instructor mittens. just suggested to me, she's like, you should just get mittens. I'm like, oh. So I had like the next day, I'm like forcing her hand into these gloves, causing some issues. And then this guy, he's like, I even just wear mittens. It's so much warmer. So yeah, mittens or gloves, let the kids decide. They'll no, probably love mittens. No, don't let them decide mittens. Don't yeah. ever. So, I've got a hot tip though. When I went to the snow. Yeah, tell us that, about your story. No, no, no. Don't <laughs> follow. Yeah, let's do it. We won't mention names. We need but stories. A Go. A friend. So I went to, I went to Japan. It was incredible. Japan? And, Whoa. Yeah, yeah. So and I, with a, I went um, and I had skied before and I'm pretty confident in skiing because I love it so much. And just it's just part of me, you know, just, just natural. Just confident in everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll Go up the you are naturally athletic. Going on the black runs, yeah. love it all. I love being challenged and that fall, athletic figure. Always fall over. That's all right. Always fall over. Um, oh, but you get back up again. That's the thing. And so I went up the mountain. Except, with a uh, okay, let me just clarify. It's so hard to get back up again from the skis. Like you have to take. I had to take off my skis to get back up. I couldn't just push myself back up again. Yeah, well, I don't so know what's going easy. on. I don't know what's going on with you guys. Yeah, flexibility um, zero. Yeah, I don't know. So, I, I mean, right. I had a friend and he thought that he could follow me and I was like, nah, mate, it's it's, it's a black run. It's going to be too hard, um, you know. And he's like, no, 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 I can do it, I can do it. And I was like, no, 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 no. And then, you know, I go down the mountain and I'm sitting there just waiting, 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 and all of a sudden search and rescue come. And I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Who's stuck? I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> search and rescue, he's on this little, like, <laughs> thing at the back like a surfboard thing just covered head to toe with this wrapping because they take him in down the mountain and there was like three or four like sirens going and I was like who is this loser that you know that and loser. it was him and I was like was oh my god how embarrassing yeah yeah but my other hot tip is don't go skiing with um really long false nails because I got my nails oh, done so yeah. like, but I went quite Wait, long what happened to them they just snapped when yeah, you're holding on to I it. was worrying, worried about my yeah, nails. Yeah, but like mine yeah. were like twice Those as Those of you who made the stove. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. So mine were beautiful. So made I mean, yeah. So we tried organising a uh, ski lesson. I was like, we've got seven of us. So the two adults and the five kids can all go together. Lacey, the four-year-old, was not having a bar of it. Yeah, don't put four-year-olds into private lessons. Yeah, she, we, it was, but hey, we had 11, nine and two six-year-olds all go out skiing for the first time. Except my son said that he knew how to. My six-year-old said he knew how to ski because he was watching this people skiing. Yeah. He's like, I watched him. I know what to do. I want to go down the big slope. Yeah. So me and and Jonah, we're we're probably, you know, the same kind of people and he would come with me. Yeah. Well, yeah, go on, (laughs) Feriel. Yeah. So he he would definitely, him and I would uh, definitely go down the black runs. 
Yeah, so Jonah. Um, you can play Diddy Kong Jonah on my back and Jonah's <laughs> uh, best friends with a Slovenian <laughs> ski instructor, and he ended up taking Jonah down the Navish's, full slope. Navisha's friend was yeah. Navish saved our and day. So, so Thanks, cute. Navish. Jonah was in like Jonah was in his basically legs going down, and Jonah, yeah. and Jonah's like, I did it all. Like I know exactly what to do. The, the ski instructor told me if I wanted to turn, I just watch them. So yeah, you guys went to the snow, had a good time. Would you do it again? Next weekend. Oh, do you know what? The experiences we provided for our children, yeah, even though it was hard, it. was so worth yeah. it. Definitely worth oh, yeah, it. Definitely. How about we just say where we live in Adelaide, we don't get snow. So it's not something that we have to actually do get. So it's, it's just getting such out, a treat. You know what? It's just about getting out of your comfort zone. My mm, one okay. last one, my one last disaster episode was when we all decided to go on the ski lifts because we b- bought day passes, but they were, kids weren't ready to go on the actual um, lift. So we all went up and then my 11-year-old just started freaking out. Oh, yeah, and Ben. And he just refused. Walked. He did not want to go down the ski lift. So yeah. it's like, no, I'm not going he down. Went up, didn't come down. Yeah, so he just <laughs> went around, rotated. No, he no. just walked down. He walked down. He oh, walked yeah. down he walked. the hill. Yeah. Um, and then that freaked out the nine, the nine-year-old. She was crying because he was like, yeah. he can't walk down. And he actually beat us down. And on that process, Farrell also lost a beanie. Yeah, on the ski slopes, guys. If you're in Where Mount Hotham, go? you'll find my pink beanie with the fluffy top. Pink beanie. It, well, like, because it was so cold, I put it on Lacey's head and then it was too big for her, obviously, so it just blew off. Um, but I think that saved me from having a four-year-old freak out on the save, on the lift because um, it was actually quite put scary. The beanie over yeah, it was yeah, way more scarier it, than what we went to. Yeah, it, it kind of just, it was a distraction for her. We, we're like, where's the beanie? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you just didn't cover it. Yeah, yeah. I and, mean, but it's, it, it's about getting the kids used to it because you, you would have seen kids there that would just naturally have been to the snow many times before. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, you know, it's just as much as them going to the beach and going to the surf. Like, you just got to know your surroundings and, you know. Yeah, as Miriam quoted, on you see on one of my Facebook stories, she said, it's just like the snow. I mean, just like the sand, but worse. <laughs> <laughs> you like, mean? you know, when you go to the beach and you get sand, sand everywhere, everywhere and you're like, ugh. This and is that's like why you guys wanted me to come. Cold and wet. And I've got a broken leg. I'm re- in yeah, re- rehab yeah. at the moment. Fair and enough. my physio is like, you're not. You couldn't go to the snow. No. Yeah. And final last, you know, if anything could go wrong, it kind of did go wrong. Um driving back from Adelaide, driving from Melbourne to Adelaide on the freeway and my engine light comes oh, up no. and I lost my power steering and my brakes Ooh, going do you know down what, the hill. Do you know why? Um, I think we just had drove too much yeah. and it's a we bit of a... We smashed it on the way back from It might yeah, be a then, crap Tiva as well. <laughs> so, no, that, that, that car took seven people yeah, to the experience yeah. of a lifetime. So that was pretty uh, – luckily there was no full drive uh, – there was no other car – there was not many cars around, um, but I actually lost my steering and my brakes going down the hill. Yeah, that's crazy. Luckily I kept myself together. We had a green light, so I was able to use a park brake to slow down and veer off into the th- into the area. Um, and that sums yeah. up a pretty full-on crazy And if we were to go to again snow. next year, they've got to – so we, we would I'd definitely – I'd probably hire a car. Yeah, we definitely also put our kids into their school lessons and their daycare sort of lessons. Um, they told us too straight away. They are like, oh, your four- and six-year-old can go into this. And I was like, oh, yeah, maybe. We'll just, I just want to share the time. But the, t- the you need to have like a – I didn't know this, but you needed to have a, access to your MyGov and then download the immunisation report. And we had – we had internet issues, so it was quite hard yeah, to Yeah, that was actually that what we didn't expect is yeah. to – we yes. had a group of us with – Together and we couldn't text each other and we could barely use the internet there, so it was hard for us. Coverage, yeah, we had no phone coverage. If we did have coverage from the, so that was probably something that we didn't anticipate is not being able to communicate with other people in the group. Yeah, yeah. But Um, all in all, a fun time, creating memories, if you want to come with us to our snow trip next year, annual snow trip. And I didn't go on this snow trip. Annual snow trip with everybody. Um, so either include it's coming next year. We now know mm. to bring more than one pair of shoes. Yeah, one pair of shoes. <laughs> yeah, I I told you you guys didn't pack well. I knew, and, but it, I didn't. I packed two pairs of shoes for all the kids except for me. For yeah. some reason, I just thought no, I won't need because you know it gets wet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I did not know. actually. <laughs> no? uh, can I be honest right now? I did not anticipate the wetness of the snow. Well, you don't know <laughs> unless you know, yeah? yeah? Yeah. And that's what me and Miriam put it down to is that. But it, I did tell you. But you weren't going to listen to me. You, well, you just, just I just, I was just in, I was in my own little dream world about what it was going to be like. And it's. um. And on but, the, like on the last day, 
we had we were troopers. Very all night. It's pouring down with rain. I had to carry because I didn't want all the kids going out in the rain. I carried four sets of skis and four helmets and four ski boots all in the rain mm -hmm. through to return it because yeah. we just had uh, to do and it. And it was not just oh let's just go down the road. It was like uphill and it was slippery. And, and we didn't weren't wearing ski boots. We weren't wearing ski boots. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. No boots. <laughs> so oh my yeah. But guys, I our Facebook photos make it look amazing. Yeah. And it was. And it was. But it was a very hard holiday. And it's, you know what, though? I just realized it's you just getting out of your comfort zone. You're trying, like, we had, we, we were on toboggans down this slope and we just decided to um, surf it down. And it was a rush, like, getting out of your comfort zone, trying yeah. new things. Skiing is good. It's it's tough, but and the only reason why I went down the slopes is because my six year old was wanting to. Yeah, so and you were getting... also on live video as well. Yeah, I can't believe for the gram. I mean, anyway. So cool. there you go. If anyone wants to know anything about the snow, yeah. you now have three snow bunny mummies. Yeah, two so, snow bunny mummies and an auntie snow bunny guys, mummy. Why don't you just put it in auntie the snow bunny? Why don't you put in the comments? Give us your best. You, what did you wish you knew before you went? Give us your funniest story. Um, or give us your tip. Yeah, or let us tips know. for people who have never been, or tips to hack the snow, make it better. But if you also want to come with us next year. We're looking. It's good. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, we, we did have so a lot much of fun. fun. And it's actually good not being able to just message people because it made you actually force you to go to their room and speak to did them. Did their phone? Did your rooms have phones? No, no which is fine because I would have been um, crying. But mom. really, <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, like we were we stuffed have, anyway. Yeah. By the end of the day, we were like we couldn't. I was imagining we could hear all them people partying. Yeah. Um, because no, we were staying totally at like a really cool. We were staying at a really cool place, yeah. but yeah, we couldn't. Yeah, and shout next out to year. people we went with. Andrew, Peter were awesome. They were so great to go with. Navish and Matt, the Matt, Slovenian, the Slovenian guy was so cool to go with. Um. And, you know, it was such, like, I would do it again because it was such a learning experience. We provided our children with opportunities and we all got out of our comfort zone. Yeah. Woo! Thank you so much for the mugs. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. No See you later. All right. Ciao. Thanks for listening to our podcast. We are getting awesome feedback from our viewers and listeners and we want to hear from you. What was your key takeaway, your lessons learned, something you can relate to or your aha moment and share it on our Facebook and Instagram. You can also visit our sisterthatslay.com.au website to see what we've been up to. This podcast has been brought to you by Miriam's business, Fab Tax Accountants. We make your life easier, keep your books clean and accounting and tax can even be fun so you can love your numbers.